Well, and I think uh, we might measure things differently too. I think it's so good that you're doing this in India. And I don't want to say this to sound like racist or anything. I really don't want to do, but like Indian men need help because even when I went there years ago in 2017, it's just the energy is like, this is not good, right? Like it's a different culture. It's a different, like, it's, it's almost a desperation, mm. right? So the fact that you are like empowering men to like really maybe understand themselves or, you know, how to do things differently, obviously I haven't been back It's 2023. Um, but that was like my experience and, and, um, so the fact that you're helping is really, really good. Um, what did you experience over here that that's making you say this <laughs> and you can be open, like, please like be as politically incorrect as you can be. Well, I you mean, know? so yeah, look, well, when I went over there, there's this app called couch surfing and there's a part where you can meet people on there. Yeah. Um, just for like friends or whatever, people who can show you around town. So I met this guy, this Indian guy, who like he took me all around and he's like, Oh, we have to do everything on your list. And I said, We don't have to do everything on the list. Like, I'm okay just seeing this place, like it's really cool. But he did all that stuff. And then he got up like then he wanted to set up all these other trips with me. And I was like, I had just gotten there and I was like, Hey, I don't really want to do that. And he kept messaging me and messaging me and messaging me. Um um, where I blocked him and then he put this bad review about me on the Ugh. app and I was like what is going on right now you know what I mean so it you know like doing everything when it's not necessary and then getting mad at that person because maybe you wanted something in exchange right like that is the energy that I got from that I also stay with an Indian man who was super nice right so it's not it's not all Indian men but this is also like because in the dms there's, you know, the stereotype that like Indian men are like, let me see bobs, right? Like it's that, that's yeah. what it is. Like the Indian men in your DMs, like that is yeah. a thing. Yeah. But, but you know, that is, that's hundred percent true in so many ways that I completely understand how uncomfortable an experience of, especially a white woman can be over here or rather a foreigner. Mm -hmm. Um, But you know, there's, there's, there's this, this, this is too many sides to that one is the portrayal via western media of how white women are right you know right. sexually way more relaxed and stuff like that number one number two like most of the porn industry is like you know white girls for example what they're seeing over here um and like this it just goes on and on because you see right. but but i mean fuck it fuck the factors which made this happen where i feel that they can do better is and I think we've, we've got something like this coming out on the Freeman uh, University next. Uh, we have this platform, which is, you know, dedicated to uh, learning all the things that you never got to learn for men. So literally the next thing is going to be how to be graceful as a man. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is that that childish boy can never take defeat, cannot accept it. So it loves to either throw a tantrum or to, if it's the wrong kind of energy, it can go overboard into, you know, hyper aggression or controlling or bullying or, you know, stuff like that. And most men have almost never learned how to accept defeat because to be honest, it's not even defeat. If you look at it, you know, for example, I, I can straight away understand the entire energetic dynamic that could have taken place between you and that man who did so much for you because he thought the more I'm going to do, the more guaranteed, you know, my chance of having something sexual with her is guaranteed. But they're never able to understand that. For example, if I today want to be like that in that man's position and want to have sex with a woman, I will make sure that I'm doing the least fucking possible if just sex is my outcome. You know, because there are women who will straight away fall head over heels for a guy who will give no two shits about the girl. All right. So first of all, they have no understanding of the attraction dynamics, but that doesn't matter. What matters is just the way they are feeding off their requirement to sexually mate. They need to understand that the woman also has her own requirements. And in a lot of instances, actually, like most of the rejection in the world is done by women, right? So most of the times you are not meeting those requirements. So you're not eligible. Now, that doesn't mean that you go on the spree of fucking writing reviews or whatever it is. 
but because that is you not being happy with yourself because you still mm -hmm. kept on going and trying harder and spent more money and invested more time on a woman who from the first day itself was never going to sleep with you so they did not have grace in terms of their conduct right. behaviorally you know and i feel that like just fucking look at the times we have come to now we need to you know look at men learning grace and we need to look at women learning you know things which could be from the other side but i feel it it's true it's a necessity you know because if if you're just graceful about your own reality all the guys they always want to one up each other how the fuck can you have the biggest dick in the world or the biggest wallet mm -hmm. that's an right. unending race right so what you do rather is that you accept it that whether it's my you know the way those place i was born or the way i was raised or the money that i have or the car that i drive or whatever the hell is the reason for this woman not wanting to go ahead with me it's all right it's literally all right but they cannot be all right with it simply because that boy hasn't been killed inside you know they've not transitioned to the man psychology completely so just like how when we were children if our parents would you know not give us something which we wanted a lot of us threw tantrums so it's just that same behavior repeating itself over here and that's mm -hmm. why like you know we decided that we're going to release this particular thing which is on grace because a lot of the men are um especially with the whole self improvement thing they think that just because they've watched a bunch of videos or done some shitty ass courses that now it's their right to be self improved right and the way they look at the marker of improvement is from the external that now i have a fucking lambo and i have bitches and i have this so now i am you know alpha male yeah i know yeah. males who are more alpha than any males i have come across in regular society and these fucking males don't even want to have anything to do with regular society they're living alone in a jungle who the fuck can be more alpha than that they don't want money they don't want clothes they don't want shit they grow their own food sleep on the fucking floor in a forest are friends right. with the forest and the animals and everything and here like people want to be like andrew tate right you know while i do understand a lot of the things which he's saying and they're important to be heard but that's just one prototype not every man necessarily needs to be alpha like that's not where you're going to necessarily find yourself right right so, that's what i say also yeah